well, well, well. Looks like some of us are owed an apology. Some of us have been pointing this out for months that they targeted their own citizens, that they went after their own people. Every single lie that those of us who have been pushing back against the lies coming out of this regime have said has been proven correct at some point. This one and all the other ones that we have said that have already been proven, but over time it will come out here as well. Because this had already been proven. It's now just being reported on in Israeli media. And I promise you, the other hoaxes that they have perpetrated since this happened will be proven and will come out in Israeli media eventually. Just like this one. They ordered, the IOF ordered the Hannibal Directive on October 7th to prevent Hamas from taking soldiers captive. And for those of you who don't know, the Hannibal Directive is a directive to take out any Israeli citizen because they didn't want to have to negotiate with Hamas in order to get any of their hostages back. There was a crazy hysteria and decisions started being made without verified information. Documents and testimonies obtained by Haaretz revealed the Hannibal Operational Order, which directs the use of force to prevent soldiers from being taken into captivity, was employed at three army facilities infiltrated by Hamas, potentially endangering civilians as well. Because you guys remember also all the cars, or all the destroyed cars? Hmm, who has Apache helicopters? Every single lie is being debunked and crumbling. And the rest of their lies and hoaxes that they perpetrated from that day as a pretext to carry out genocide in Gaza will come to light. 